This is Angela Miki, and I'm going to show you how to send an announcement in Canvas. So here I am at my homepage in my blank course. You can tell that I'm in my homepage because it's blue. So I'm going to click here on the word announcements. Now I already have an announcement, this little funky I just typed something because um, I did that as a test run. And so all of your announcements that you have sent prior will show up here under this screen. So if I want to make a new um, announcement, I hit plus announcement. So I get a screen that looks a lot like all of my other screens. It looks like my page screen. It looks like um, basically everything else in Canvas is all formatted the same way, which makes life easier. Um, step one is we're going to type a title. And then down here, we are obviously going to type um, our announcement. This is the body of our announcement, the bulk of it. Um, so for today, um, I was put my daily agenda here. I also have lots of options of how I can link in websites. So maybe I'm going to use back channel chat or maybe I need my kids to quickly get to something. Um, if I don't want to embed it in a page and take all the time to do that, I can just put it here in an announcement and send it to them. Um, I also can add an image. I can add some math equations. So maybe you want to use announcements as your warm-ups. Um, you know you're not going to grade them. You don't want them to be an assignment. So you can put a math problem of the day um, here in your announcements. And then the kids can reply with their answer. We have Khan Academy videos, we have School 2 videos. This blue lets you um, put in Google Docs and Google presentations, Google Slides, things like that. Um, this video button will allow you to record your own video. So there's that. Um, and then we just have normal how to edit the text options. Now if none of that works for you, that's not quite what you're looking for. Remember that you do have your HTML it editor so you can embed content from lots of other sources. Um, specifically YouTube videos, this is the best way to go. Just embed them, that way your kids watch them, they never leave Canvas and they're not distracted. You can also um, attach files, so maybe you want to um, attach something and the announcement is really more for the parents instead of the kids. Maybe you want to attach your weekly newsletter in, in a Word format so that the parents can open it for sure. Um, things like that. And last but not least, we have these options. This delay posting option is fantastic. You can make your announcements ahead of time <clears throat> and then choose when they go out. Uh, users must post before seeing replies. So maybe this is your polling. Maybe this is your exit ticket. Maybe this is your problem of the day. Um, the students have to reply before they can see each other's replies. So that's helpful and doesn't allow them to cheat, hopefully and ensures that they do their own work. Uh, no one that I know podcasts, so I'm not going to worry about that. And then this is great, this allow liking. So if you want to vote, um, my suggestion is maybe you're doing student of the week and you're having kids nominate each other for student of the week. Um, Johnny's nominated for student of the week because Sally dropped um, all her pencil box everywhere and Johnny stopped and helped her pick it up. So maybe they post that and then your students can like um, to vote for student of the week and you would sort by likes if that's the option that you're going to do. So there's lots of things that you could use announcements for. Um, once you've decided what you're going to do and you're completely finished, you simply click save and it will send out your announcement for you in the course. So if you're going to send something, um, it will go to all of your blocks just so you know. Um, if you don't want it to go to all of your blocks, you'll have to kind of choose a different method. I know that honors in math and language arts have separate courses, so if you're doing a separate agenda, that's automatically going to be fine for you. So, that's about it. Hope this helps. Thanks.